Today we'll go over how to organize our lists in TickTick -tick using sections, how to add sections to our lists, how to rearrange those sections, and how to add tasks specifically to those sections. We'll also go over how to view those sections across columns using the Kanban view. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. Alright, so to get started with sections, uh, I'm in a list, I'm in my Project Titan list, and I have a series of tasks right here. And even though I have them organized within a list, I can still organize them a little more granular by using sections within a list. So in order to create a section, I go up to the three dots to the right of a project. If I click it, there's an add section option. When I click that, the first thing you'll notice is that it prompts me to, to put in a title of the section. So I'm going to say phase one. The other thing you'll notice is that up towards the top, we now have all of our tasks in the not sectioned uh, section, if you will. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on my new section, phase one. So now I have two sections, not sectioned and phase one. So one of the things I can do now is drag and drop some of the tasks that are not sectioned down to my phase one section. So now blueprint project is under phase one. Uh, I'm gonna drag do a fit gap analysis to phase one and send analysis to Steve to phase one. And then what I can do is I can hit the um, three dots next to the section and I can add an additional section, either above or below my current section. So I'm going to add an additional section below. And I'm going to call it phase two. And I'm going to drag uh, my tasks that I have remaining in not sectioned down to phase two, because those are going to be phase two of the project, and that's not a subtask. Be careful not to indent it and make it a subtask of one of your other tasks. All right, now if I'm up here, I can hit the three dots on the not sectioned. I don't need that anymore. I can hit the delete button. It says any, any tasks or notes in that section will be deleted, but I don't have any in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and click delete. Okay, so I have phase one, phase two. I'm gonna add one more section. Add section below, and I'm gonna call it phase three. Hit enter. I can also use this little plus button next to the section to add tasks directly to the section. So I have a couple more tasks for phase three, finalize the project and also send deliverables to client. All right. One other thing I want to show you here is that I could move sections around if I wanted to by grabbing the handle icon. So if, if for example, phase three needed to come before phase one for some reason, I can drag and drop it up above and you see it, it takes all the tasks with it. I don't need to move them individually. They're grouped together as part of phase three. Uh, since that's not where it belongs, I'm gonna drag it back. I also wanna show you if I hit the three dots next to the list title again, and I go to Kanban view, you'll notice it splits up my tasks into columns. And the titles of those columns, phase one, phase two, phase three, are the titles of my sections. Well, that does it for this video. We've gone over how to add sections to our list to get a little more organized, how to rearrange those sections so they're in the right order, how to add tasks to those sections, and also how to view those sections across columns using the Kanban view. See you guys on the next video. Have a good one.